Welcome to PC Hardware Therapy and to today's unboxing of one of the best short ground off CPU coolers, the Noctua NH12S. The main reason of buying this cooler is for building a mini ITX NAS server which puts restrictions on the height of the cooler. So if you are interested and would like to be notified of this upcoming video, then please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. This cooler is the slim down version of the much successful Noctua NH12, making it ideal for a small form factor or an HTPC case. Although the 12S is thinner, it is larger than the L12, housing a 120mm fan as compared to the 92mm fan on the L12. Now, this cooler comes with Noctua SecuForm 2 mounting system, which supports CPU sockets all the way from LGA 115X, LGA 1200, LGA 2011 and 2011 V3, LGA 2066. On the AMD front, it supports sockets all the way from FM1 to FM2 and from AM2 to AM4. This cooler is also compatible with Elder Lake CPUs on socket LGA 1700, even though it's not listed here. Back in August 2021, Noctua announced that they will be providing existing customers mounting upgrade kits free of charge so that people can continue to use their existing Noctua coolers. If you are on older sockets like the LGA 1366 and LGA 775, then also Noctua will provide you free of charge a mounting kit necessarily for this cooler. The cooler can be installed in low profile mode where the fan sits below the cooling fins in this configuration, the max cooler height is 70 mm, but the RAM height is limited to 35 mm. So this is definitely something to take note of if you have RAM with tall heat spreaders. If the fan is installed on the top of the cooler, then the maximum height becomes 85 mm, but at the same time providing room to install RAM of up to 48 mm in height. One thing to mention is that you can install the fan in either downward or upward flow irrespective of whether you install it in the low profile or the high clearance mode thus matching the airflow requirements of your case. Now without further ado, let us open this box and have a look at this cooler. We are greeted with a box of accessories and the SecuFirm 2 mounting kit. Let's come back to that in a moment. Let's take this box out. Let's open this piece of cardboard and it reveals the cooler. We see that the cooler is resting upside down in the box. Even it has a plastic shielding on the cooler plate to protect its surface. Let's get it out of the box. Let's open this piece of cardboard. And this will reveal the cooler. I must say, the cooler is packed really well. Let's remove this plastic shield. Now the surface of this base plate is machined quite well. It is super shiny. Also it does not feel flat. It all also feels convex. Not sure how visible that is. This will help in applying the right amount of pressure to the middle of the CPU for optimal cooling. Removing this piece of cardboard reveals the 120mm cooling fan, the NF812X15, having a depth of 15mm, powered by this 4-pin PWM connector. As far as speeds go, the fan has been rated for a range of 450 RPM to 1850 RPM. However, the included low noise adapter, it goes only up until 1400 RPM. At the highest speed, at 1850 RPM, the fan produces approximately 24 decibels in noise. And with the low noise adapter, this reduces significantly to approximately 17 decibels. The cooler is made out of nickel plated copper base plate with four heat pipes. And the cooling fins are made out of aluminium. The cooler does not feel that heavy and weighs only 520 grams. It is 128mm wide, 146mm deep and only 70mm tall.
from here to here. Now let's go back to the accessories box and see what all is included. We have a welcome message and an installation guide for sockets AMD, LGA 11.5X and LGA 20XX. We will definitely be making use of these. And then we have the accessories for the SecuForm 2 mounting system for Intel and AMD sockets. And by the power of recording, let us lay out these components on the table and have a look. On the left, you see the accessories to be used for the Intel system. And on the right side, you see the brackets to be used for AMD. In addition to these, for the LGA 11.5X socket, you also need this back mounting plate, which is included. What else is in the box? We have a low noise adapter included with the CPU cooler that we talked about earlier. And we have a nice high quality thermal paste. And finally, we have a Noctua badge. It's a sticker, but it's a metal badge that you can put on the case to show off your Noctua fans. That's a nice touch, but we are not done yet. We have a screwdriver. And why do we have a screwdriver? As you noticed in this CPU cooler, we have a couple of places we have holes in. And this, with this screwdriver, it's easy to reach those mounting screws. So that's actually a quite nice touch from Noctua. All in all, it looks like a very solid cooler, which even comes with a warranty of six years. I don't know if any other manufacturer provides this long warranty on their cooler, especially the fans. With that, we come to an end of the unboxing of the Noctua NH12S. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments. If you like it, then you know what to do. To follow more content from the channel, please subscribe. And I'll be installing this cooler in an upcoming video where I'll be building a home server slash NAS. Stay tuned for that. Bye for now.